welcome back! Tonight is Crazy Beer Night. This is installment number three of Crazy Beer Night. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome to everybody who's been here. Holiday flowers. <laughs> what do we got tonight? Other than my trusty, crusty 1950s bottle opener, I finally found Tap Boy. Anyway, what do we got? This is another one from Rogue. You can tell by the giant bottle. And no, I didn't pay $15 plus whatever for it. I found it's cheaper to buy beer, Rogue beer from Rogue. <laughs> it's like 60% cheaper, even with shipping. Um, no more. Spending $16 for a crappy bottle of beer. Anyway, what do we got? This is another one of their Dare Risk Dream. This is Rogue's Wasted Sea Star Pale Ale, or Purple Pale Ale, sorry. This is uh, 650 milliliters, and they still got their purple corn nectar, non-GMO, free-range, I still don't know what free-range coastal water is. In other words, it came out of a river. Anyway, it's got a cool-looking label on it. It's got a drunk starfish on it, I guess. Um, I can't see through the bottle, so I don't know if it's really purple, but let's give it a try. This is the Pale Ale. Since I am going to be a big baby, I like lighter flavored beers. And it still has packing stuff all over it. Don't drink the styrofoam. It'll get stuck in your pee-pee. Anyway, let's give this guy a try. Just dive right in. This looks the same color as the rest of them, maybe a little lighter. Uh, wow, this, this has got a really fruity smell to it. There's like, like summertime fruits like peaches and plums. I don't know if I'm supposed to be smelling that, but that's what I smell. I See, this one I like a lot better. I'm not a big fan of the super strong hoppy beers. This has a hoppy flavor to it, but it's really light. I mean, this is a pale ale. Uh, it still has that back flavor on the back of your tongue. Of uh, It's not bitter, but you can tell it's, it's, it's like kind of that IPA bitter just in the back of your tongue, but it's not bad at all. It's, it's actually it's a lot lighter than the, the yellow snow. It's still stronger than like a regular pale ale, but once again, this one would go. This would be magically delicious with a bloody steak. Here I go with the blood again. I'm not a vampire. I just think good beefy steak, a nice something like like a strong meaty flavor would go perfect with this. This might even go good with some chocolate, like a dessert. It needs some other kind of bold flavor to go with it to kind of even it out. It's not bad. I, I kind of like this one. It's a little stronger than I'm, than I'm used to drinking, but it's not bad. Um, uh, dedicated to Dr. Bruce M Menge and his students. Uh, sea stars on the West Coast are rapidly dying in a mysterious disease called sea star wasting syndrome. It causes lesions, arm loss, and... Uh, eventually can turn stars into goo. This is one of the largest marine animals diseases uh, events in recent recorded history. Uh, purchase of this beer will help fund uh, research on this disease through the partnership with the uh, interdisciplinary study of coastal oceans at the Oregon State University. Yeah, well, it's okay. So... Buying this is for a good cause. We're trying to save the sea stars, or whatever you call them. Uh, it's made with, they say it's made with purple corn. It gives it a slight purple color. I don't see any purple color in there. Maybe you could, like, stretch and see. It's kind of like somebody put some purple highlighter ink or something in it, but... I don't see a lot of really purple in there. Uh, 
I, I'm not sure what all these mean. Uh, this says 15 degrees Play-Doh, 40 IBU. I think that's the bitterness. Uh, 76 AA, 15 degrees L, 5.7% ABU. Um, no idea what most of those mean, but hey, if you're a beer drinker, you probably know. Um, well, there you go. At least this one here is for a good cause. Uh, the yellow snow doesn't pay for people peeing in snow. This one here actually saves this. It saves the starfish. I like it. This one's a lot better than the other ones I have. This is better than most of the ones I've had. Usually when they come in a big bottle, that means wacky, like weird flavors. But I like this one. Uh, I like even more that part of the proceeds go to help marine life because I live on the, on the west coast of the United States. You know, the marine life is important to us. Um, well, there you go. This is the, it's got a big name, Wasted Sea, Wasted not in like, Wasted like drunk, but in this case, it's wasted like is in lost weight for no apparent reason. So, Wasted Sea Star Purple Pale Ale from Rogue Brewing Company. Get you some! I haven't seen this in the stores. I got this from the website. Uh, you might be able to find it at BevMo, and you might be able to find it at some of the bigger places, like Total Wine, anything like that. But uh, I don't think you're going to be able to find these at a regular grocery store. But you can go to the Rogue uh, the website for Rogue Brewery and, and get them there, and they can mail them to your house. I'm not sure about people outside of the U.S. or people in other states, but here in Oregon and Washington, they shift it over the border, no problem at all. So, uh, But anyway, there you got it. Wasted Sea Star. It doesn't taste like a Wasted Sea Star, and it's not purple, but it's okay. Not bad at all. I like it. It's a little more bitter than I'm, than I'm used to, but uh, this one's good. It, it doesn't like have that lingering like weird flavor in the back of your tongue. Um, well, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you want to support some uh, local wildlife research, uh, trying to save this, the starfish, you know, get a bottle of this. Um, there you have it. Hit that like button. I like hearing from you guys. I like to hear the comments and stuff like that. Feel free to comment away. Anyway, I gotta go. Bye. Got a big burp of brewing.